Alright, hello everyone. My name is Sage and welcome back to the Monster Hunter Stories 2 The Wings of Ruin. Today we are going to continue our adventure here on this. Well, I'm not sure what this world is actually specifically called in this game, but uh, here, wherever we are, I mean, our adventures continue. Let's just see. It's been a couple of days since I played, so I may have already forgotten everything. <laughs> but uh, I think the game is gonna open up a little bit more here for us regarding on what we can do. Let's see, here I can open up the map. And I think I can see some uh, sub-quests here. I might do some of these for today. Just to see a little bit about them as well. Also, I think I got that egg last time we were venturing. So I could probably had that here. Maybe it was here. Let's see. Any egg is safe here in my past. Why not hats one? Yes. Uh, hats egg. We have this humble bird weaver egg. So let's just take that and I think it should just hatch right away for us. And what monster is it? I think it's just maybe the one we already had yet in Velocitron. So I guess we just have two of those now. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I mean, I don't know if there's much of a difference with this guy than, you know, the one we already have, but I guess we could just, you know, might as well take this to our team. So we got the Sasundera last time, this Velocidrom. I'll just, like, name it, like, uh, actually, it's Velociraptor, so it could be... Raptor... It's gonna be called Raptorius, because, you know, again, doesn't really matter that much. Might use it, might not use it. I mean, I can still probably keep it in my team. That's fine. Okay, we have a possibility to swap monsters in party with others from the stable. Okay. Ah, yes, the, the Raptorius is here at the stable. But I think I can just put it here on the team. I don't know if it's a problem if we have two of the same. At least for now, because we can't have a full party anyway yet. Once we get more monsters, we can then, you know, switch them around and have more of them. So yeah, I think this is fine. Sasudera, Ranmar, and this Raptorius. Yeah, this is all cool. Manage monsters, what does this mean? To change the names, ah, and we can release them back in the wild, okay. And we can, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Well, this doesn't really matter. I, I mean, yeah, if I want to release one of these, for example, I could do that. But for now, we have a two of those guys and then we have this as well. That's fine, that's cool. Okay, let's go check out these uh, sub-quests as said. There was one on here, so let's go check this one first and see what is it exactly. Okay, it's this old man. What does he have in mind? Remember when you were... I remember when you were a tiny thing, but now look at you. He's like a proper rider. My time, how time flies. Well, perhaps I should test to see you just how good a rider you become. Bring me an herbivore egg. How about it? Think you're up for the challenge. Okay. A herbivore monster egg. Don't spread it. You should have no problem finding one. Look for the horrible or horizontal spots on the shell. Yeah, I mean, I can just accept it. Excellent. I'm sure you'll be back in time. Then. Those long horizontal ovals make them easy long enough to spot. I think it might be most uh, convenient way uh, to do so that I accept all the sub quests that I can, and then I go out in the wild and you know try to like complete all of them at one go. That is probably you know the fastest way to handle them, comparing to accepting one on one, going outside and doing all one at a time. What do you have in mind? Hey, is I ever heard of dark shrooms? Dusk shrooms? There are mushrooms that only appear in the late evening and at night. See, I just don't feel very safe going out at night. Could you look for some dusk shrooms for me instead? Okay, so this guy just wants five dusk shrooms. Okay. We can definitely start this one as well. Seriously, you're so brave. I hope you can find me those mushrooms. Yeah. Sure, I mean, I will try. I will try. What do you have in mind? I have this theory that there's connection between the fish not biting and the surge in Bnabra numbers. Insects creep me out though. Would you mind thinking out the Penabra swarm in the sound coming for me? Honestly, I don't know how to pronounce that Penabra, but I'll just call it Penabra. 
So, I guess you just want me to destroy some of these Banabra. Yeah, okay. That sounds cool. So, we'll take care of them. They don't cross you out. Oh, thank you so much. Okay. Can I actually see somewhere my, like, quest lock? Quest info. Because I think I'm at some others. Ah! Ah, yeah, this was one. Hatch an egg, and I already did that. There was also this where I have to find this woman wheat and hakolo honey. I have to find some raw meat. Ah, yes, these were these Rider 101 quests that probably will be done during time, over time anyway. I have hatched that egg, so where could I actually turn it in? Do I just turn it in at the quest board? Let's actually check that out real quickly. Some quests. Yeah, I think so. Oh, and we can get experience from completing these. Okay, that's actually good. Good to see. Rapturus got already to level 3, it's just, you know, with that, so I think that's pretty good. Ah, yeah, we have the Kena and Avmar with us as well. Yeah, because we, we are going with them to do some... Do some... Uh, something with the main quest. I can't honestly quite remember what was our main target. Oh, it's right there. Bona Grassland incident. Head to the Bona Grasslands. Well, yeah, we're gonna go outside now. I'm gonna try to see if I can find and get done some of those subquest objectives. Uh, but if that doesn't happen, then we can at least any time go do the, like what we have in store in the main quest wise. But let's see, let's see. Can our monsters swim? I guess that's a question. Because uh, that's definitely there on the island. Can we swim there? Oh, is it just. Okay. When you're riding a monster that can swim and the water from Shallow Point. Ah! So yeah, that would require a monster that can swim. Yeah, so we can't actually go there. Your monster is actually different color than mine. Why is that? Don't know. Well, the main objective is really close by actually, so I guess... We are gonna go... I mean, we probably have to go this way anyway if we want to get any of those subquests done. Yeah, we are here at the Polar Grasslands. Okay, let's see what's up here. Start with the main quest anyway immediately. Right. Let's go check out where these turf wars have been happening. Uh, I guess. Sounds good. But what are we gonna be checking out? Well, obviously we're going to find some monster tracks. Ah, tracking. Monsters leave traces behind wherever they go. We can follow those to wherever the monsters are now. That sounds familiar from well, okay. traditional monster hunter games. But how are we supposed to follow a trail in such a huge area? No worries. I've got us covered. Mm -hmm. Ah, yes. Ever hear of scout flies? Yep. Once we find the tracks, these little fellas will Yeah, we just follow the scout flies to the monster. For real? And anyone can use these flashy things? Even my buddy over here? Well, I would think so. They're a vital part of any rider's toolkit. Here, take some. Thanks. Well, uh, yeah, this should be pretty, pretty similar, maybe how it works in, like, for example, most of the world. So, I'll show you what to do once we find some tracks. Yeah, yeah, let's let's do it. Let's do it, I guess. Yeah, most of sleep behind tracks as a turn turn up grass. Yeah, or dung, so poop. <laughs> and scout flies can guide you to monster tracks with the light. Once you find enough tracks, the scout flies can lead you to the monster that left them. Flash red and stop guiding you when spotted by a large monster. If you defeat the monster, get away from it. The scouts like, yes, okay, yeah, that's also similar to the monster in the world. Anyway, let's find some tracks. Once we found enough, the scout flies will do the rest. Looks like the scout flies picked up on something. There must be tracks nearby. Yeah, I guess I'll be just doing this for now. I'm just gonna. What is? What is this? Oh, it's a monster then. Okay. I mean, I guess I could... Could I find something interesting on the monster then, honestly? I'm thinking about that herbivore egg quest that I had. Uh, I'll just, I'm just wondering, like, does that mean that I have to find it from the monster dead room from somewhere else? Well, I don't know. I guess all of these, like, materials I can find pretty much just by searching around the map. Also, this box, Panabra. Well, I don't know where to find actually those either, necessarily. It's actually just... 
explore around a bit. I mean, I can see these big ass dinosaur things here. Okay, let me just kind of open this map. I mean, I mean, chest. What is this? Throwing map, okay. Some loot apparently just there. And there's also. I guess that's a monster then. I don't know what that yellow one is, but uh, okay. Where are the skull flies anyway trying to lead me? Search for tracks, torn up grass. Ah, okay. They're leading me to this way, I think. Paint berry. Not really anything I need. Wait, are those are some bugs. Are those the bugs that I would need to defeat? I could... Oh yeah, actually one thing that I wanted to do. Can I actually... I wanna test out the Sasudera, so let's put him as the lead monster. Oh, there's Kuluya could probably want to fight. Okay, let's just fight here. Take on this guy. Just to get, you know... Back on the track with the combat and all that good, just because I probably don't remember much here. Okay, Kuluya could... Oh, a couple of Bambaras. We have to defeat those, so this will work out, I think. Now... Power was beating technical, and technical beat the speed. I don't know what this might come up with. I think the Kuluyaku might use the technical style. But I don't know about this Banabra. I'll attack the Banabra with the technical style and see what happens. Oh, they use the technical style as well, apparently. Okay. Weak acid, so apparently it can inflict some kind of attack down effect on my guys. Doesn't sound too fun. Okay, an uprise down. <laughs> One hit. Okay, that Kuluyaku, I guess, took a pretty good damage there. Okay. So, if they are using those, then my power attacks would actually work well here. The enemy Kuluyaku, I think it's poisoned, actually. Though Panapra is not probably that much of a challenge, so I think I'm gonna use the power attack against the Kuluyaku here. Yeah. Just to get the victory against it in this rock paper silk uh, situation and that Panapra is down. Alright. Speed attack won't do much damage. Oh, my Kuluyaku just went with something crazy. This Kuluyaku is actually... The enemy Kuluyaku here is surprisingly strong, honestly. Let's see. I think I'll just you go with the regular attack for now. It's gonna attack the Avamar anyway, so I'm pretty safe to attack here. Unfortunately, the Avamar's a little bit idiot and use the speed attack there. Well, it is what it is. Takes also, thankfully, it's taking a little bit of that poison damage, so it's pretty good. I hope the is gonna use some stone shield, I don't know what that is, but I'll just keep on attacking. Just keep on attacking. Ah, defense up, nice. I guess that's pretty good. Attack that. And if this Kuluyaku is this strong, then I guess it's good for me to fight these guys to get some experience, you know. Oh, power cast. Smash the A button. I think I'm winning this pretty easily though. Yeah, not that bad. Okay, I can ride, so let's go with that. Probably. And just go with the power attack here. It's gonna use... Ah! Oh wait, do I actually need a different weapon here? I think so, yeah, the blade won't do much damage now that it has the drop. Yep, 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 yep. That is what I have to do. If I can. Wait, I can't switch weapon when I'm... Oh no. That sucks. Can I use the Kinship kill skill here just to do a lot of damage? I gotta hope so. Explosion. Maybe this doesn't, you know, get weakened because of my weapon type. What the hell is this attack? Okay. Oh my god, what are we doing here? Just exploding egg? <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, that was a lot of damage. Ah, that was a lot of damage. Oh, now I can switch weapon. Oh yeah, because I'm not riding anymore. Okay, let's see. Um, yeah, let's just take the hammer. 
Honestly, I should have maybe gone to the shop before I went to adventuring, because there might have been a possibility to get some better gear at the village, but I kind of forgot to do that, so... What did it do? Because, oh man, I wasn't paying attention. I think my attack did not work that well. Part broken, okay. It's down. Attack it. Yeah, we're gonna still win. A surprisingly tough fight still. I must say, I took a lot of damage. Yes, I can't underestimate these things. Well, yeah, we got it down. Now it's all good. Yeah, boy. Good stuff. Okay. Yeah, I got some banana stuff. I don't know. Kuleku cool, hide. Cool, yeah, be okay. Okay, cool stuff. I think I might have to heal a little bit here. Took a bit beating. Let's see, did I? Yeah, I definitely took some beating, so let's just heal up quickly there. Okay, but all good. And I was able to defeat some of those bugs. I still need to defeat more of them, I think. Let's see, actually, just, just to double check. Yeah, I defeated two, so three more to go with that sub-quest. Wait, the scout flies are still showing... Uh, here we have something. What's the bone? Where are they showing the way? Somewhere here? Wait, what the hell is that? It's some bird, okay. Where are you showing? Here we have something. The scout flies picked up a monster trail, now we just have to follow the light. Yes, sir. I mean, that's what we've been doing. Yeah, let's just fight against these guys. Our new battle. Well, we should be able to handle these guys. I think they're gonna go with the speed attacks. So, and they're all gonna attack me. Well, that's nice. Let's attack with the weaker one with the technical attack. Oh! We got the combo attack. Nice! That's a one shot. Oh, Velocity Prey and Velocity Chrome. I guess there are... Well, I guess the Velocity Prey could mean just like a... Child version of the Velocity Chrome, I suppose. Not 100% sure about that. Stack there. That'll take out these little guys first. Oh! Well... I guess that's that. Damn! That did a lot of damage. Can I heal myself during the fight? I can, yeah. That's actually pretty good. These are actually surprisingly hard. But I may, might have gone here a little bit unprepared, so... Bro, I already healed myself. What the hell was that? That was so stupid. <laughs> now it's really mad. Stay on your paws. Okay, another power class. That's fine. These are pretty easy to win, thankfully. Okay, I think it might do something differently now. We could try it here, I guess I'll do that. I'll get some points apparently <laughs> out of that. I'm not sure what it might have in mind, so I'm gonna use the explosion thing. Yeah. Here we go again, with the exploding bomb egg thingy. It's kinda... Kinda comedic. But at least it does the good damage, so it might be enough to, you know, defeat it. What I want to see. Bada bim, bada boom. And it's now nice. Cool stuff. It's reading. Ah, oh, it's just reading. It even. What does that even mean? I don't know. Anyway, we got some stuff. Yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. Alrighty then. Uh. Let's keep on following these tracks, I guess. What we have here? I think the scout flies are sewing this way. Okay, here we have something at least. Let's see it. Check it out, buddy. Over there. Oh, what is that? That looks a bit familiar, but I don't remember. What, or have I even seen this monster? I don't know. Maybe in other games. What are we sneaking here? Well, that went well. <laughs> Whoopsie! Are we ready for this? I don't know. <laughs> it seems a bit mad. 
Fighting time, I guess? Sure. Okay. What is this thing? It spotted us. Switch out quick. Done good, good, okay. I don't know what it might have in store for us. I feel like I go with the speed. Oh, it goes with the technical, man. Well, it went, it went against me, so it doesn't really matter. So it uses tick. Oh, wait, yeah, it actually, that worked out. My bad. Hey, no, 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 wait, that was my cooler. <sighs> it's a little bit confusing me. I always forget that I am commanding myself and not my monster. Monster commands itself. <laughs> Anyway, so it, okay, it's gonna attack the, it's gonna attack the, oh, so there again, so I can't really affect that much, so, it's not attacking, I can't see this guy's, uh, HP bar it seems, oh no, so we're not too good, a lot of damage from that, I think I can just heal it up with the herb, hopefully the Kana doesn't herb it, oh, it actually does, I saw it there, I saw it there, and now we're gonna waste too much herbs. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff that I miss still with this game. I can see what the, my uh, party is doing. Yeah. I can see they're following action there, so... I don't actually have to worry about me healing if I can see another one doing the healing. God damn it. Okay, let's just go with the power attack here. Okay, part broken. That's pretty cool. Oh, it's down now. Let's go with the rock launcher. Nice. Okay. Well, we can't ride. So I guess we're just gonna attack. Oh, that's attack down. Well, it is not really attacking us at the moment anyway, so... I don't know, that's the matter that much. Power attack, alright. Okay, it's back up. I'm gonna attack the Avmar here. Well, that's fine. For me, I'll just attack. Okay, defense up. That's pretty good, actually. Okay, now Avmar seems to be pretty strong, so I don't think I have to worry about them going down. The young good is in great. Pay attention, it's gonna use different facts now. Ah, I see. It might go with the power, honestly. If I'd have to make a guess. Can I ride as well? Right. I think... Yeah, I'm thinking that it might go with the power, so I'll go with the speed here. Oh, it went speed as well, okay. Oh, what are you doing? The Lusty Cross, what is this? Ah, it's this. Yeah, we've seen this one. Alright, that's pretty good damage. Speed attack there. I'm gonna... I could go with the explosion. I think I'm gonna do that. It's probably a good... Good choice to go with here. Once again, here comes the egg bomb. Boom, chakalaka. Alright, well, I can go with any attack for now as it's not targeting me, no power attack. I think it's just gonna spam speed attacks, it seems. Oh yeah, I have completely forgot my skills, maybe I should use some of them as well. I don't know if these actually do any good damage. I guess I could test it out. Oh, it was already defeated. Well, didn't even have to choose. Didn't even have a chance to use the skill. Right. Bye bye. Good experience, it seems. Good cool scale. Okay. 
All right. Did that solve our problem here? With the turf wars, when a monster retreats, it then will show up somewhere in the field. It's a great chance for you to grab an egg. Okay. But paintball works well against any opponent. Okay. Most monsters will be more likely to retreat if they're hit with the paintball before you defeat them. Ah, yeah, yeah, okay. I mean, that what happened with that Velocidrome earlier as well. Get an egg from that monster. So, yeah, I could get this monster egg. Ah, okay. Pay a visit and snag an egg. But most will be more like... Oh, maybe this is the way I get the herbivore egg as well. I fight against uh, herbivore, it returns to its den and I can snatch an egg then. Maybe. So... Yeah, you want me to go get the egg from this den now, okay? Yep. Yeah. I guess we will just go do that then. Get a chance to get a new monster. So Sounds pretty good to me. Let's see. Okay, I think we have to fight this guy again. Well, we should be ready for that. The monster is out cold. So let's not try to wake it. Ah. When riding a monster that can search for speed, but okay. How do I just... Can I just go and get that egg then? If it's sleeping. <laughs> this is a little bit scary, but I guess I can just grab an egg. It doesn't smell like much and it's light too. Well, yeah, it's the only egg I can get apparently from here, so let's just get the freak out of here before that thing wakes up. <laughs> Probably the safe stop. So we better get back to village and, yeah. Let's just leave. We got the egg. So I think I'm happy with this. All right. A little bit frames dropping. And what is this? Safely taking me anywhere me want to go. That's the caravan guarantee. Ah, okay. Uh, okay, so they can probably fast travel us back home. Okay. Understandable. Sure, sure. Once you actually get stand somewhere, you can go back to location anytime. Okay, so basically a fast travel, it seems. Yeah, yeah. Caravaner. Right, yes, and then we can just go to. All right, okay, that's pretty good. Makes it easier to travel around the map. <laughs> All right, yeah. That's the basically the same way that you get told around if you if you die at the monster of the world. Uh, let's see. Now I'm here. Report to Chief Gara. And Chief Kara, I mean, I wait. It actually, can, it does show me the objective right here. Okay, let's report this in our findings, I guess. Here we go. Chief Kara, we're back. Whoops! Didn't mean to skip that. Glad to see you're all right. So, how was it? We tracked down a young Kutpu. We think that was the one stirring up trouble. Hmm. A young Kutku, huh? No worries, though. My buddy here gave it what for and even brought back an egg. You were able to hold your own, huh? Well done. I didn't expect this day to come so soon. But I think it's time to have the barriers taken down. Chief! I'll make the arrangements at once. Until that's finished, please continue with your investigation. Nice going, newbie. Whoa, don't you get it? This is a really big deal. Taking down those barriers means you have permission to go see Guardian Ratha. That's my buddy for ya! Even the chief is starting to see how great you are. I'll go get started. Meet me in the center of the village when you're ready to set out. Hey, buddy! I spotted a suspicious Meelinx over by the harbor before. What do you say we go check him out while Kana is setting things up? All right. <sighs> you prove yourself as a writer by fending off the Recognize your bravery, Chief Kara, includes you in the Guardian Rata investigation. Now the time has come for you to set 
Yeah, food in the Guardian Rat have woods. Okay. Don't know what that all even means, but uh, anyway, I think that's you know all for this time for our adventures. Next time we are gonna talk to the suspicious Milix, I guess, and uh, well, we have to hatch that egg and. If I remember, I'll go check out the smithy and maybe some other stuff as well here at the city. But we will see how it's gonna go. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. Now, remember to leave a like if you enjoyed. And if you have any tips for me or anything like that. Or anything else you want to say to me, let me know in the comments. And of course, if you're new to here, remember to subscribe. But as always, I will see you in the future videos. And for now, it's a bye-bye.